Hey, this is Dean from Wise Bites, guys. While I love taking products that I use all the time and writing and recording views of them, really what I'd like to be doing? Traveling around and reviewing coffee shops. But I can't do that. So the next best thing is things that make coffee. So in this case, we have the Keurig Mini. So we have had one, two, three Keurigs over the years. And the one that we have at the house that's our staple also makes lattes. And we'll talk about that one. Uh, on another review, but this one we purchased when we traveled and we had an Airbnb for five weeks up in Oregon, even though it says on the Airbnb listing, here, it, they didn't. They had that old school coffee maker that my grandmother used to do and I couldn't even figure it out. Anyway, so we went out and got one and by went out, we went online and ordered one and it was delivered the next day. And so what we got is the Keurig Mini. So we used that for about five weeks. We're gonna sell it, we're gonna give it away or something, but it turns out that it is really cool. I didn't think I'd like it. And the thing I didn't think I'd like is actually awesome. So one, it's slim, it's easy, it's compact, easy to move around. Like this is it. There's a cord tucked in the back, you just pull it out and then push it back in. So it is really easy to move around if you're gonna do an Airbnb type thing. Um, but this particular one, lift up, I know a lot of people have used these, I have it. You just put in the cup of coffee, the water that you want to use in there, and that's it. So we have ours set up next to the sink with a reservoir, the one that we use, you know, at home all the time. And so we fill it up, and it works great because the hose of the sink fills up. So I thought, oh, my God, it's going to be terrible without a reservoir. you got to keep filling up. But you take the cup you're going to drink, put water in it, dump it in. It was so simple. So anyway, this one is really good because it's, it's quick. It seems hotter than my other more expensive one. And... There's not much to do. Pour the water in, you put your pot in there, and you have a cup of coffee. It's still hot. So anyway, this one is definitely going to be a positive review. However, it's going to lose a bit because the light indicators are a bit confusing, non-descriptive. So when you put water in, and then you put your pot in and you close it, it makes some sounds and some lights. But you never know, quite know when to hit the button. So if um, someone makes a coffee right before you and you're not right there and you don't see it, it actually takes a little bit of time, not much time. But the thing is, you don't know that. So you go, you put the coffee in, hit the button, and you come back five minutes later and you got the jitters and you ain't got no coffee. So uh, it would be nice if there was some kind of indicator like, hey, we're waiting. Hey, ready to hit the button. Or you hit the button too soon doesn't have that. So anyway, this one's really good. So because of that thing that is really bothersome, I'll give it four and a half stars. Thanks. This is Dean from Wise Wise Guys.